Hello, I am um, going to show you how I approach trying to find a problem with the fifth controller for the Bernina 900 Nova. Uh, it's a little bit different than the other fifth controllers. It's a, a mechanical one, it's not electronic because the motor controller unit is in the sewing machine, but uh, the different difference uh, with this one compared to the other one is that in uh, these foot controllers the micro switch is turning uh, on off the main voltage to the um, motor controller so um, when you hear the click then the main voltage is um, going to the speed controller and any further press you have the variable resistor which is of course controlling the speed of the motor but those controllers not always work and uh, the first thing I use is of course using a multimeter. Uh, you don't need to have a very advanced multimeter, just uh, the option of um, checking if it is connection or not and the resistance. So if we take a look at the um, plug connector here uh, you have um, from that pin to that pin here we have the micro switch and from that to that we have the a variable resistor so this one is common for both micro switch and variable resistor so to first check if the micro switch is working I connect there and when I press the foot controller so the it clicks then I can check if the micro switch is working which is it is and to check the a variable resistor try to turn off the beeping <clears throat> when we press here we can see that it is going from yeah, approximately 180 kilo and going down to about 5k so approximately 5k and gradually increasing up to 180 and we don't want to have any drops in the in the resistance there so it's it is resistant all the way but it graduates and not any drops so here we have checked that the foot controller is working the speed uh, adjusting the speed and the micro switch on off when in those cases that uh, nothing is happening uh, we have of course a couple of, of uh, different scenarios of course it might be the micro switch if we're checking that or it might be one of those wires in the case of the um, uh, resistor it might be the resistor and of course the resistor uh, is <clears throat> back here 
uh, there's a sister have uh, this plate and those two carbon pins are going along the plates up and down here you can see the resistor um, let's see here if I do I can reorganize a little bit here here and here let's see here there we have them both in that shot uh, you can see here and if I move this down here the resistance is lower uh, and the carbon pins here uh, are just connected together and moving along this one so if the the um, variable resistor is not um, working it might be uh, this plate I uh, looked at another foot controller and uh, they have uh, tried to connect the main voltage directly into the this part so um, yeah that's not working anymore but um, it might be this one or it might be the carbon pins here uh, the connection between the carbon pins here or uh, it might be the wires to find out if it is the micro switch resistor or the wires I have to remove the covers. Um, I have another video about uh, replacing the carbon pins, and uh, there are a couple of things that um, it's. Uh, nice to be aware of when opening this so take a look at that video to to uh, get a closer look into what that is but uh, <coughs> if you see here uh, the easiest way to check if it is the wires is of course to just uh, touch the, the connectors directly here of course if I have the sound on yeah so now we know that uh, uh, that cable is okay yeah and the last one the one which goes to both is yeah so that's how we check the, the cables. Uh, of course, we can check the micro switch uh, here. It's here. Um, just hold down the micro switch so it's not popping out uh, because then you can break the two pins, which is uh, um, holding the position of it. But like that, yeah. I'm checking the micro switch, and the variable resistor. Let's see here. And I just hold on the micro switch. And when I press, let me check if that is working or not. That's, 
uh, different ways to well it's a way to check if the resistor variable resistor is working by connecting directly or through the connector and same with the micro switch uh, very often the problem is um, with the wires here that inside the uh, the connector here it uh, the the wire breaks or or uh, detached from from the pins and uh, the only way to to repair that is to cut open the um, the connector and uh, to get that in place in a nice way it's not that easy so I made this uh, plug yeah here I have also replaced the um, the cable, the whole cable, um, but um, that's that's not uh, necessary. But uh, you can use the same cable. Just cut that open. So you reuse the the front here, which is the the part you don't want to uh, lose, and you connect. So I have those repair kit for the the connector in my uh, 3D sewing parts .com web store. So you can uh, get them there. But yeah, this is how I approach the checking of the of the Brunina 950 controller. So I hope you learned something and um, have a lovely day.